Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. Thanks for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to give you a six month update on the Yonghang 4500 PSI PCP SCBA tank air compressor, whatever you want to use it for. Okay, so it's pretty much the same way you've seen it before with the few little minor updates and upgrades that I want to share with you. So last time you've seen it, I had a smaller water holding tank. And with that said, this is a 32 quart or eight gallon sealable tote. And I got it, uh, I believe it was like $15 at my local uh, Dollar General store. And again, it holds eight gallons, which I have five in it right now. And, you know, you may have seen, you may see some different color tubing, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, as long as you make sure you go through the manual thoroughly and update the cooling water the oil this pump should last for a really 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 long time and i have never had any issues internally with it um, but with that said i'm going to show you here now as to why i updated these hoses now typical hoses that come with it are these plastic i guess vinyl i'm not sure exactly what they are but what I've noticed is, over time, and this is within a couple weeks period of changing out my water, my water gets a slimy film to it. And this is distilled water. I cannot stress enough, if you're not using distilled water in this, it's going to get deteriorated quicker. You're going to have to break it down and do repair to the inside because of all the buildup and all this and that. That's what happens when you use not pure water or distilled water because if you're using water that has minerals or any type of substance in it that is not pure or distilled, you're going to get that buildup inside. And I don't want that. I don't want to have to tear this down. You know, I just want to be able to turn it on and use it. So with that said, I'm always, always use distilled water. I never change the water to a different kind of water, purified water, spring water, well water, none of that. I use distilled water. So now with that said on the distilled water the reason why i have this tubing over this tubing is because with that film that i got again after changing the water about every couple weeks or so it would just be really slimy and it was nasty and if you don't know on your sub pump down there you have an adjustment on it where you can open it all the way up to get the most water through it and i have mine fully open so make sure you do that there's a, a knob right in the dead center front of it that you turn make sure the vent is always open fully but i changed the tubing because as you can see here this end was on the barbs on the fitting and that part of the compressor gets so hot that i think it was melting and i believe it i know it's melting it was melting this tubing so what was happening is this plastic was getting burnt or melted and that slime was going through the line this whole line of tubing coming out of the compressor down into the water on the end that was going into the tank was all slimy and nasty so again i believe that's where it was coming from and i have yet to have this happen with this rubber this is rubber i got this at my local automotive store parts store o'reilly's it was less than ten dollars it's five sixteenths uh, rubber hose or rubber tubing and again you know you don't see this stuff on automobiles for like radiators and stuff why would you put this stuff that's not rated for hot temperatures on here i mean that's just my opinion i'd rather have this and i yet have a problem with it uh, the water is pure it's sealed no slime anything now also with that said i've already had to change out the fill whip now typically when i use mine i use it on a gun but i have acquired some scba bottles which this compressor can air up but with that said also if you leave this whip dangling down like i used to it puts stress on this point and that'll pull the hose off this fitting and it, my original one that came with the compressor leaked here so I changed it out to another one I had laying around and it seemed to be working fine so far. And I make sure to not hang it freely because all that weight and gravity pulling on that tubing here, this high compression line. Now, also things that I found after six months, 
make sure that all this is tightened I've had I've had some of these fittings you know back out a little bit here and there so every other time I go through with the hand wrench and make sure all this is tightened if I'm airing something up because I don't want it to leak as I'm starting to air something up because I'll never get it aired up it'll start to leak and you hear it and all that and I use a uh, you can use hot soapy water but I had this in the kitchen so I sprayed it on where I heard the leak from and it starts to uh, bubble really good because that's what this stuff is made to do platinum power wash on dishes it's supposed to eat through grease and all that and bubble up really good and suds up and you'll be able to see exactly where it's leaking at so again you know I just make sure that all my fittings are tightened like every other time and then also the pressure gauge i don't know how good you guys can see that but that is not the original pressure gauge that came with this compressor so i swapped that out for right now it's a spare i had because uh the other one the the spring on the needle broke when you release the pressure on this compressor the needle on the gauge should go exactly to zero and the other gauge did not want to reset properly so i just changed it out and that was another thing that i had to retighten was always i had to retighten the, the psi gauge for some reason i think it's just because this end is the pressure side most of these fittings on this side wanted to back out a little bit not so much on this side more more on this side because that's where the pressure shifted to to come out this line so and always double check your end fittings and all that make sure that stuff's tightened that way you won't ever get that much leakage and you can also test it too and if you have a hand pump many of hand pumps come with this plug and if you don't I recommend getting this plug so you can see if your compressor holds pressure and if you can turn it on and air it up and let it sit for about an hour or so and it's the same PSI on the gauge as you left it or within just a slight variance and I'm talking like a hundred psi due to the temperature change then it's holding pressure but if it's you know ticking or five to six hundred psi difference it is not sealed properly it's losing air so I highly recommend getting a plug if you don't have one I don't think this one came with the I don't think this one came with the um, compressor so and Lastly, I want to talk about filling SCBA scuba tanks and really high volume bottles. I've never had a problem with this compressor just filling guns. The only time I have had an issue is when I was filling a 30 minute SCBA tank with this. It ended up popping a burst disc that is easily accessible right here at this plug because of so high pressure that I aired up the SCBA tank to and then I had to replace that which the Yang Hang comes with the spare parts kit to do that so it comes with I think six burst disc so that's pretty awesome but that is the only time and that was recently this is technically way after six months that I've had it but I didn't have a chance to make the video yet and I wanted to do it so I mean at the six month mark from airing up guns I have had not one issue you know again besides the little things here and there about tightening up you know the fittings which is nothing that's nothing mechanical that's nothing inside whereas you know the burst disc here blew out because of airing up something that's high volume um, high pressure and you know the pump it did not overheat so I know I'm somebody's gonna comment well you let it overheat and all this and that get too high no it wasn't that it was just wear and tear from after six months um, and believe me using a gun just a gun to air up not a bottle or anything this compressor will never get overheated I don't care I mean you know just one gun here and there like I do but if you use it all the time you have to make sure you know again read the manual and I always have the pump on as the manual says so it'll cool quickly back down once you air up a gun and then you can do it again and again and again but it'll never reach the maximum temperature of just airing up a gun now a bottle on the other hand depending on the volume of a bottle or tank or whatever you're airing up that's a big difference so I just wanted to share this 
my updates with you guys and my findings if you're on the edge of getting one of these compressors i highly recommend it now again as you know i got this from penty over six months ago and it has held up uh superior now uh i still use about the same oil um the only difference is the power mate that i had in the original video they don't make that or that you can't find that anymore in just one quart so i had to switch to another power mate uh weather blend and right now it is super cold outside and according to the compressor the temperature gauge right here says 13.8 celsius and i didn't even have it on yet today that's just warming up from the temperature of the water and uh, the top piston here where the temperature gauge is at now you may also notice that i don't have the um, screws in this right here is because of this um, not really an issue but this compressor just vibrates a lot and depending on how you have it set up and all that um, it vibrated so bad that one time it it popped the uh, the back tab off on the inside of where the temperature gauge is and one of the batteries lost connection I thought I had some dead batteries in there because the temperature gauge just went blank but that's not the case it was just the plastic tab that holds the batteries in that lost connection to the battery or somehow it happened I popped the battery back in and locked it in and haven't had an issue since and that was like over a month ago so I just have to put these screws in they're just a pain in the butt um, to get everything aligned back together but it, it works fine there's nothing wrong with it so this is just my update on this compressor guys i hope you enjoy it and again if you're really looking into getting one of these i highly recommend it this has outlasted just airing up again has outlasted you know those little small 12 volt compressors that many of you and myself personally have bought and they just burn up quickly because they get overheated the pump is not big enough to fill most of your air guns either at that volume of air or that high of pressure so with that said, again, you know, these little upgrades that I did were just for me personally. Now, these hoses, these, these original tubing still work, but I just didn't want the slime in the water. And that slime gets in the water, that pump shoots that slime back up into the compressor. I didn't want that. But again, that's just me. So, as always, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you see what I did here and like it. And if you're, again, interested in getting one, I highly recommend it one of the best pcp air compressors out there for the money and again i know it uses electricity to pump the water and a lot of people don't want that and that's fine but my problem is with the non lubed or non cooled compressors is that they're going to burn up quicker see this is lubed with oil and it's cooled down by water so basically just like a small engine that's all it is really technically and you're using electricity to power the engine to pump up the air so in my eyes this is probably one of the better designs of the budget pcp air gun compressors there is out there now i haven't tested every one of them so i can't truly say all of them but then again you get my gist here of how long i've had this and it's just a few things here that six months ain't bad and it's not nothing major so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video hope to see you on the next one guys